Hey, honey. Where are you? Honey, you're trying something on. Ah,、oh, let me see, please. Come on, I have to see what you're wearing for Jenny and Kamai's wedding. Just a little sneak peek. Come on, open the door, please. I don't understand surprises. I know I don't, but maybe you don't understand the pleasure I feel when I see you when no one else is around and I get to call you completely mine. For my eyes only. <laughs> yes, I love how I always get my own way. Wow, you are divine. So sexy. Does something happen if you outshine the bride? Because I think we might have a problem here. Baby, you look stunning. You make my jaw drop. I love to see your curves draped in gorgeous things. You know why? Because you're worth it. And I'm the lucky guy who gets to tell you that. Your figure defies reason. Did you know that? It makes me believe in God. Because only a higher source could have created someone so beautiful, so divine. I love coming home to you. I mean, just look at you. You're a goddess in the flesh, a perfectly carved live statue. Every curve and dimple divinely designed, expertly carved. And I'm the lucky one who gets to lay my eyes on you. You are, and your body is, a gift that abundantly keeps giving to my eyes, to all of my senses. So how am I going to get this dress off of you? Hmm. I have an idea. Can I tell you why I love every part of your body? You listen, and if you think I deserve it, you take it off. Slowly. Make sure you tease me now. You know I love it when you do that. Well, <clears throat> I love your eyes, of course. Almond, huge and cat-like. I swear you're part feline. I could look into them for days. And I especially love when they beckon me into bed. I'm powerless. I love your ears and whispering things in them that you wouldn't dare repeat to anyone else. I love your soft lips. I love enclosing them with mine. I love to feel like I'm the predator, and you're the prey. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I love your shoulders, strong yet supple. These shoulders carry such a beautiful head upon them. Hmm. I love to caress your hair, your silky, soft hair, especially in the morning when we wake up together. I like to gently brush it off your face, but then I also love to pull it when we make love and show you who's in charge. You're such a gift for my eyes. Your shoulders provide the perfect frame and beginning to the journey I love to make with my hands when we make love. You know I love your voluptuous breasts. 
my stars in the sky, my favorite pastime, caressing them, holding them, groping them, grasping them, licking them, sucking them. I love how they make me feel so small. Each time I find new heights of adoration and comfort. The rest of your body a galaxy to explore. Sometimes I remember that I'm a mere visitor here. And this makes me hungry. It makes my hungry loving hands grasp onto you even more for survival. Your breasts are exactly the way God intended them to be. Abundant. Just when I think I've explored and conquered, there's more. I love to lay my head on your chest. You're a deity. God's picture of a woman. A classic beauty. You're effortlessly sensual and comforting. If only we could be an embrace forever. I love the way your bountiful arms fold around me, enclosing me in your divine femininity. We create an entwining embrace, serpent-like primal that I never want to end. You truly are a feast for the eyes. Your skin, velvety and silky soft, I love to trace my hand down your chest. Your tummy may be the most beautiful cushion I've ever caressed. Like a silk embroidered cushion, I think of clouds and marshmallows. A perfectly formed dreamland of candy floss and delights. It flows effortlessly to your hip where I like to continue the journey with my tongue. Mm. Your hips follow the lines of meandering rivers, undulating skin that fills every inch of your sexy clothes, and that fills every inch of my dreams. There's no room for my imagination because I don't need it. I don't have to imagine. Your waist, again carved by divine intelligence, cinched to unimaginable ratios. I imagine a great sculptor carving the marble. Your bum, soft, bouncy and abundant, rippling like water with every touch, allowing me to go deeper and deeper when we make love. Your beauty is of a million diamonds, an ever-flowing river that I never want to stop swimming in. I want to dive deeper and deeper every time. I don't need to come up for air. You know you're the first person who taught me that. First we fill our own cup before others. Because of this, you give to me abundantly. I love how full your body is. Your thick thighs that wrap around me so tightly, enveloping me inside. You nourish me with love, with affection. It's the only welcoming thing in the world sometimes could look at you for days on end and I wouldn't tire. My favorite thing is to see you in ecstasy, experiencing true pleasure, your eyes rolling back, gasping for breath as I dive deeper and deeper, uncovering new realms of pleasure, new pearls in the depths of your ocean. 
your hands grasping onto me in un in disbelief every time not believing where I'll take you <laughs> finally the dress has hit the floor victory come on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 